There are so many fun, exclusive, decorative stitches in the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2. We were just doing some sequin stitches, some applique stitches, pop-up stitches. Oh yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. But in the dimensional stitch menu L, did you know there's a little ballerina? Now when you select this particular stitch, you notice she only stitches out one. She is a one and only. And she is meant to have a pop-up or three-dimensional skirt when it stitches. So some of these stitches, like here where you're adding fabric, we're gonna add a piece of lacy tulle that will be folded in half and in half again when we stitch. So this will actually be her little skirt after it sews. So of course you're like, okay, how does this actually work? Remember, touch the question mark, touch the stitch, and a little reminder for this particular stitch, what it means and how to stitch it. So we will be needing to activate our needle down button uh, and so it stops in the middle of the design. And then when it stops, we're gonna turn the project 90 degrees counterclockwise. And that is something that I always usually need to peek at before I stitch because, uh, well, we definitely don't need her dress going the wrong way. So we <laughs> I always check, is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, we'll be placing the fabric in there. And when the machine stops, we will uh, turn the project back around and finish it out. So, I will show you how this stitches off. Uh, we have videos on all these other techniques from the applique to the sequin to the pop-ups. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. But again, I hope that you'll take a peek at our links below this YouTube video. We've got links for how to stitch out your stitch book, which is having you stitch these stitches out so you have a reference of how cool they are. Uh, we've got our Stitching Cosmos online course. That's like what you see back here. That's one of the sequin blocks right there. Um, that's where you are going to take this machine to a whole new level through a wide series of 10 lessons, 25 different sewing techniques, and 18 different presser feet. So if you want to make this machine Machine sing, you should check that out. All right, let's get into how this little ballerina stitches out. So anytime you have a stitch that sews side to side, it is going to ask for foot S. That is the Omnimotion stitch foot. Uh, we are going to use our start stop button on the front of our machine. So the button way up here at the top. So let's just go ahead and start. Our needle stop down button is lit up. So as soon as this, as she stitches out, we will be guided of when to put her skirt on. So it actually does her head, her arms, and her feet, and then we'll be able to put the clothing over the top of her. So there's one of her little ballet shoes. Here comes the other one. Super cute. All right, so the needle stops down, and it said for us, to turn the project 90 degrees counterclockwise. And I always have to think twice, is that the clockwise? Yes. So we're looking to line up the uh, red lines of the foot right here with her. We're gonna take our fabric. So whatever fabric, I love a sheer uh, dress for, for her. Take and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. We're looking for that little uh, pointed part that is with the two folds, not the raw edge side at all. And I'm gonna lift up the presser foot just one time further. Uh, don't do it twice, because then the needle comes up. But your dress is going to push the little tip of that fabric fold right up against the needle. And if you want, you can set the presser foot down. You're gonna push the start stop button, and all it's gonna do is a little quick stitch in and out. So that holds her dress in place because then you're gonna turn this back around and it will finish the rest or kind of the top part of her dress. So we're gonna push the start stop button. Before you know it, it is going to be done. So don't blink because that is all we need. So it does actually lock it, cut it, and lift it because this is a single pattern. So there she is. And of course her dress is a little long. So your turn to give her the proper length of dress so you can have some fun with either curving this around or how you want to do it. I'm going to actually, since these scissors are curved, let's just turn those so they'll kind of curve that. Okay. There. 
How about that? And that is how you sew the ballerina stitch that's built into the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2.